comfortable talking about the concept of passing and yeah. a couple of things that you sort of first identified as what you were doing to pass? When I first came out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, okay, let's go through the story. When I first came out, I only had five dollars and my parents didn't know and I couldn't use their credit card or anything and I bought an ace bandage to bind my chest with which is incredibly uncomfortable and also not safe at all and I used that for a couple months until I was like okay my ribs are gonna cave in um, and then I waited until Christmas and I got a gift card and I bought this like a back bandage and used that to bind and then when I finally got a debit card I bought a chest binder and I actually brought my own one. So people know what I'm talking about. Um, this is what a chest binder looks like. This is just like the average one. It's stretchy. Um, it's like a double compression so it it binds the chest flat to mimic a male's chest, and usually they are as white as a wall, but I wore this for many years, so it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and stretched out. It doesn't work anymore. Um, thankfully, I had my surgery, but this was like the only way I would pass, and the only way I would feel comfortable. Um, and to me, binding was like, if I was wearing a binder, I was physically uncomfortable because it's so tight and mentally and emotionally comfortable. And if I wasn't wearing a binder, I was physically comfortable but emotionally and mentally uncomfortable. So it was like you can't 